When I have a customer in front of me, how can I pick the right work item? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series of your tutorials. Today I'll talk about the work item documentation feature in YAWL. It's a new feature of YAWL version 5.1 and it's quite important in any practical setting where you have lots of cases and many work items to choose from. Today's video is divided into three sections. First, I'll show you a simple example workflow about handing out tickets after a self-registration of customers. Then I'll show you how to set the documentation feature for a task in the YAWL editor. And third, we'll walk together through a number of cases and look at how the work queue of a participant looks with this documentation feature. Let's assume that we have a very simple workflow where people can self-register online and then they come to a counter to have their personal data checked. After that, a ticket is handed out to them. Let's have a look at the YAWL specification. We have the three tasks, self-register, check personal data and hand out ticket here. And um, in the check personal data task, if we go down here and look for documentation, this is here, um, we can see that we have variables. So we have a dollar notation with parentheses and inside um, we have an XPath expression um, accessing a variable called first name and the second variable is last name and then we have some constant text here and then we have a third variable called age. And so this is how um, we access the information and this is the documentation that will be shown for these work items. For the execution let's assume that we have a very long queue and that we had to open a second counter to speed up the process. So here we have two windows with Hannah on the left hand side and John on the right hand side and we have already started some cases so um, if we go to the work list now of Hannah and the work list of John we can see that the documentation of the task uh, check personal data in particular is shown here. So we have the first name, last name and the age and you can see that this corresponds to what we have specified in the editor and um, we also have the same information on the right hand side for John and we also have the same work items because they are offered to both Hannah and John. So if someone is standing in front of the person, for example, let's say we have someone called Antonio Banderas um, who is standing in front of John, then he will just start this work item and then we'll start working on this. And then we'll say if there is a price reduction or not and complete the work item. So this has been worked for and then we, if we refresh the work queue of HANA we can see that this particular work item is gone. Yeah, now let's assume that we have someone in the queue for HANA and um, what we can do is um, if someone tells us their name we can order um, according to documentation. So we have now first name you can see ABC and so on and we can also order in the opposite direction. And so, for example, let's say we have uh, Daniel Poolward here. Uh, we can start the work item. If we go to the right-hand side, now this is started for Hannah. And if we go to the right-hand side, we still have this work item here because we didn't refresh. But if we refresh now, then this work item has gone. So this one has been reserved to Hannah and then she can start working on it and say okay here's a price reduction and now we complete and then goes on like this and so every work item is shown in the queue with the appropriate information in the documentation column. So John opened the second counter to help Hannah and keep customers happy. This concludes the tutorial. As usual, you can find the YAWL specification that I've used here in the supplementary material below. Just follow the links in the description. Can you imagine a workflow management system that cannot display this kind of information on your work items? Does your workflow system support this feature out of the box? 
Or did you have to develop your own user interface? I'd be happy to read your comments and answer your questions.